not the cosily keepers warms. Warm up his legs. Because Edward had a lot of health problems. He was uh, he had uh, perpetual pulmonary disorders and terrible eyesight. He had epilepsy. Um, but his troubles in no way compared to his mother's because he was the 20th of 21 children. Those were the days, ladies. <laughs> we thought they'd never end. Um, customarily, um, well, let me tell you, do you know everything about Edward Lear? Do I need to go through this? Yeah. Raise your hand if you know everything about Edward Lear. <laughs> You do. Would you like to do this part of the lecture? <laughs> no. Edward um, was born here in London. His father was a stockbroker, and he experienced a, um, I think here in England you have a gentle way of saying it, a reversal of fortune, which in Victorian times meant your father went to debtor's prison. So that's what happened to Edward Lear's father. Um, and the family was dispersed. And he was raised by his oldest sister, Anne, who was 20 at the time. Remember the 20? one children. And um, they were genteel, um, poverty-stricken little family. Um, he went to work at the age of 15 as an apprentice at the London Zoological Society. He was a um, very skilled draftsman, so he was very, um, very skilled at drawing the animals there. And eventually, especially skilled at drawing birds, and it was his drawings and lithographs of the parrot collection at the London Zoological Society that came to the attention of Lord Stanley of Wolseley. Um, oh, 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 I'm having a brain blockage. <laughs> I can't remember the name of their, man, their sprawling estate. Nosley Hall! Correct. <laughs> And uh, the 13th Earl of Derby, Lord Stanley, loved little Edward. Edward was more useful than, um, than he, it was expected. He was, he was hired to document the family's menagerie of over 1,200 animals. But in his spare time, he would come into the big house and he would entertain the children. And he became quite a favorite of the family with his limericks, with his nonsense rhymes. With his, he could play the piano, so his songs. And uh, the Book of Nonsense was uh, published by Lord Stanley for Edward Lear. And customarily, um, I have Eric Delapena read these in James Mason's voice, but he said that Eddie Izzard does that, so he won't do it here, it's too embarrassing. <laughs> so he said, well, these are British people, why don't you get them to read them? So, anyone want to read the Anyone read these? Or do I have to do it in a fake British accent? That's what you want to hear? All right. There was an old man with a beard who said it is just as I feared. Two owls and a hen, four larks and a wren have all that they'll nest in my beard. <laughs> there was a young lady whose nose was so long that it reached to her toes. So she hired an old lady whose conduct was steady to carry that wonderful nose. There was an old person of Sparta who had 25 sons and one daughter. He fed them on snails and weighed them in scales, that wonderful person of Sparta. There was an old man at a casement who held up his hands in amazement. When they said, so you'll fall, he said, he replied, not at all, that incipient man at a casement. And it goes on like this for a while. There was an old man of Calcutta who perpetually ate bread and butter to the great bit of muffin on which he was stuffing choked that horrible man of Calcutta. <laughs> so as you can see, hours of entertainment. So pick up the collections of um, nonsense, the complete book of nonsense, and, uh, and you'll amuse yourselves beyond uh, your wildest expectations. We're going to do a poem by Edward Lear called Calico Pie.